Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Simply Pod Logical, Simply Neological Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's me, Christine, again. Christine, I have a fever, and the only prescription is... Taylor Swift? More cowbell. Oh, okay. Yeah? That's like such an old saying. I'm a boomer. Yes. I'm old. Old references, old man. <laughs> old man, indeed you are. Okay. I'm just, I just want to, in case... We're making observations today. In case I look strangely sweaty or any... Like, I got a... I got a... What was it? A tetanus? I got a tetanus shot. Yeah. I'm like, no big deal, right? It's just I usually don't rust. react to things like that. It's just... Yeah. It's just rusty. I don't even know why you get a tetanus shot. For rust or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we used to have them at camp because, like, you swam into rusty docks. So they're oh. like, get your tetanus shot. Why don't you don't just know. not swim into rusty docks? Because you're a kid at camp. So, <laughs> like, you're obviously going to swim into and a rusty apparently dock. Apparently, I was overdue for a tetanus shot. So I got one mm-hmm. and I felt fine. And then last night, I wake up in the middle of the night just drenched in sweat and, like, yeah. shivering. It was weird. Yeah, that's not uncommon though. Like, Isn't to it? Get, yeah, because it's like making you sick on purpose so that you don't get sick later. I don't know. I'm not it's a like doctor. magic. How does it work? Yeah. I, I tried not to wake Christine up, but I, I had to get like a towel. She's like, "What are you doing?" And then a <laughs> bucket. And then... <laughs> a bucket and a, a mop. bucket. <laughs> now, and now he's just a little rusty. So. So I'm a little rusty. I'm a little sweaty. I'm a little tired. Mm-hmm. So I just want to have a little bit of fun today. Okay. And what is more fun than thinking about how? people would debase themselves and others for a little bit of money Mm. so i was uh yeah like you just agree okay no i said "Mm." (laughs) (laughs) it was a "Mm, go on (laughs) but be tread carefully Uh, uh, on the tweeter the other day Mm -hmm. i saw uh this thing sort of going viral that was like uh you you get a million dollars but there's a snail let's just do the first one there's a snail There's a toxic snail that's out to get you. It's, it's going to follow it's, so you. So it's really slow. Snails are slow. But it, you get a million dollars, but this snail, for the rest of your life, there's a snail out there somewhere in the world that is inching towards you. And if it catches up to you, it kills you. Is this like a moral dilemma game kind of thing? Yeah. That's what it is. Sure. Or it's kind of like fear factor, but Except you don't, you don't, do you don't eat the snail. Well, that could be a question. Well, they would kill you. You can't kill the snail. Okay. It kills you. You're not eating bull okay, testicles. Okay, what's the wager? A million dollars? Joe Rogan dollars? isn't there screaming at you for some reason. Why would he be? A fear factor. Oh. That was Joe Rogan. That was him? Oh my God. You don't remember before it was like Joe Rogan, <laughs> a weed philosopher podcaster. It was Joe Rogan, uh, fear let factor. me scream at you while you eat uh, the wow, animal testicles. that's a mind trip. Wow, times have changed. It's okay. all pretty consistent. It's all connected. It's all connected. It's not consistent. It's connected. It's the same level of like okay. intellectual. So uh, this game is pursuit. basically like, what weird shit would you do for money? But is it always a yeah. million dollars? Okay, maybe we we should talk about yeah. this because when I was a kid, a speaking, million dollars was way more money than it is speaking now. Speaking of us being old, I know. I remember when I was a kid, my parents sold their house for like. 200 and something thousand dollars. I thought you were going to say a million dollars. I was going to be like, okay, rich. No, but <laughs> but that then. same house today yeah. would easily sell for more than a million dollars where we live in Ottawa, where the housing market's kind of stupid. Yes. But I feel like yeah. a lot of people could relate to this. Mm-hmm. So by a similar logic and just acknowledging inflation, I do wonder if like these absurd examples of like, you can get a million dollars for doing something kind of crazy. Do we just have to like five or 10 X? I think you have to, and it kind of sucks. Is that just because of us, though, or are we out of touch, or would anyone think of it this way? I think generally (laughs) people perceive a million dollars differently today than they did before. That doesn't mean people wouldn't be grateful for a million today. I just mean it doesn't have the same weight that it did, like... 20 years ago when hmm. when bare naked ladies sang if i had a million dollars yeah. like you couldn't sit you couldn't come up with that song today yeah. people would be like that's not gonna buy all those things you just listed you know like yeah today it's like if i had a million dollars i don't have enough money to retire in a in a way right yeah so like there's that okay. there's inflation but then obviously 
we are, you know, pr- very privileged in our lives mm-hmm. after every all the greatness that has come to us from the internet the and everything. Greatness. I don't know. <laughs> just like what words do I use here? It's very awkward. But yeah, like yeah. obviously I acknowledge that. So me answering these questions will be different, but we're just having fun here. We're talking about <laughs> killer snails, you know? Yeah, we're, we're not okay. talking about solving. You know. Yeah. But you know what? Like I, it's not that f- in the past where... I, you know, money was felt differently and I was yeah. like figuring out how to pay my condo mortgage. I still think a million dollars is a lot of money, especially if someone's yeah, giving no, no it to you. No one's saying it's not a lot of money. It's just like maybe people wouldn't agree with the killer snail for a million, but like they would have said absolutely like 20 years ago. So should it be more like, uh, I think in Finland, what? maybe. Okay. So there's some country. Where like speeding tickets is proportional to oh, your, your, I think your, your income. income. Mm. So there's a famous hockey player once who got pulled over for speeding, but because his salary was like eight million dollars US a year, the speeding ticket was like like fifty thousand dollars or something. Wow. Whereas for like normal or people making a more average income, it's probably like a hundred bucks. But it's like a hundred bucks now, for us, like for everyone. Well, yeah, we don't do this here. I no, I know, but I mean, like, shouldn't it be a lot lower by that logic for like the average person's income? It should be like way under because you're being subsidized by the rich people. Who? Right? Oh, I see. Shouldn't it be mean. like five dollars or something? Like, if it's proportional, not. Oh, you're looking at it like can, can that subsidize uh, normal people's and it has speeding to scale tickets? Scale accordingly. So if the average person is still paying a hundred dollars, like that's no. Not but I think good. I think it's saying like if it's a hundred dollars to someone making fifty grand a year, then it is like. But it should be way less because no, no, it's... it shouldn't be less. It should. That's the baseline. But if someone is making a hundred times that annual, that average salary, then the ticket should be a hundred times that. It's not about lowering the baseline. It's about well, upping it should people also who make more. be about lowering the baseline. Like what? Well, no, but because that. Why are we arguing about? <laughs> I don't know. The, the baseline for normal people, it still has to be meaningful enough that if there was only a five dollar ticket for speeding, yeah, I'd be driving two hundred <laughs> fucking miles down okay, well, through school zones. <laughs> but like, isn't the, that the point that it shouldn't be a financial punishment? Maybe it's just no. A thing the whole on the point record? is that it should be a financial punishment. But if you're mm-hmm. making eight million dollars a year. A hundred dollar like ticket worse. isn't a financial punishment. Yeah. So you have to make it proportional to what actually feels like a financial punishment. Yeah, but a lot of people. Oh, so hockey players have to declare their income as personal. I was gonna say, like a lot of <laughs> people don't. like don't actually take the money. A lot personally. of rich people, yeah, don't. Yeah, have so like it income. wouldn't matter. Yeah. They just have. People think work. this would work as you just described, but it would not, for that reason. But they probably still have it. They don't. When you hear someone is worth like a billion dollars, their income is probably just a tiny fraction. Well, it's whatever they want it to be, but it's usually Basically. not like multiple millions. But that's why it's so difficult to tax yeah, the su- super wealthy people because they just have... they're not paying themselves an income. Like I saw a random... Uh, I think Kim Kardashian just bought like a $50 million house or something, right? But... uh there's no way she paid herself personally whatever is 20% of a down payment of that house or whatever. Just when you're really rich, banks are more willing to do creative things about giving you money in a way where you mm-hmm. don't have to declare a bunch of personal income, but you're just more invested or working with a bank and they have access to your other money for reasons, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Why are we talking so the about snail? this? <laughs> the snail. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's a snail. There's a snail. What? Guys, Ben is, has a fever. Can you see? He has a wild fever. There's a snail. Okay. Somewhere in the world. It's always chasing you. If it catches you, it kills you. Let's say we're going to up it to, uh, let's just say $5 million for all of these, okay? Okay. You get $5 million, Inflation. but you know that there's a snail that uh-huh. was, for the rest of your life, is going to be tracking you down very slowly, and if it catches you, it kills you. How does it kill you? Uh, that's not all that important. No. I, I want to understand. It's an excruciating death. Understand your enemy. It will poison you, and you will feel like you, you're being torn apart from the inside. Where is the snail at the, the beginning of this? When I access the $5 million, yeah. where is the snail in proximity when I first get the money? This is a good question, because a big part of the calculus here, I think, has to be, could you always know where the snail is? Yes. I think it's only fair that you know where the snail is to begin with, and it's... Uh, a meaningful amount of distance from you so you're not going to instantly be caught so with five million dollars i can invest in a tracking software 
uh-huh. and I can put a tracker on the snail and then I'll just always know where he is. And yeah, then, fine, I, find and my then snail. I, I can use like a, a rate calculator to figure out how fast he yeah. travels. And yeah, yeah. then I can intentionally like go across the globe when he's coming close. He can't fucking cross mm-hmm. an ocean, right? What if he begins in Australia? Then we just never go there. <laughs> Boats exist. Snail could get yeah. on a boat. But then he'll be... Mm, a boat's probably faster than the snail moving at its that's, regular that's rate. That's a good point. But I'm just saying, we could have the GPS tracker where you have money to inv- uh, yeah. make this investment. Yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah, I would take the money. And you would then, take the money? Yeah. And, you know, I think destroy the snail. <laughs> you can't kill the snail. Why not? It's indestructible. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you... If you ca- okay, anyway. <laughs> I think for most people, it's, this is aside. more of a... a simply sci- it's, simply a, snail logical. This is a... Sci- <laughs> yeah, Brad Mondo. Sorry, I, had to. I think this is a psychological thing more than it is a practical thing, though, right? Yes. Because wh- how much is it costing you in living your day-to-day life? To worry. Knowing that there's something out yeah. there actively trying to kill you. Yeah. I totally hear you, but that's why I would only do it if I did, like, a feasibility study into, like, making <laughs> sure I could track and destroy the snail. And it would give you me a project. You can't destroy the snail. There's got to be a You can way. only track it. Okay, but then I'll, so, I'll find peace at looking up my map at night. I'll be like, okay, snail's over there. We're good. You but know? that's So you're getting $5 million, and every night I'm looking at a map of something trying to kill me. Yeah, I feel right? like I do that already. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, okay, that's just living. <laughs> yeah, when you look at the security cameras. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just like every day I look at the cameras and make sure there's, there's no one trying, there to, trying kill to kill me. Okay, well, if you already... Every day I look at my comments, make sure there's no one trying to kill me. So, like, it, <laughs> it's really no different as long as I have a map. Okay, <laughs> so I just want the extra $5 million. It sure. means you could never you could never stay in one place permanently either. I hear what you're saying. Snails are slow. You could always calculate like where. Yeah, but I'm just gonna trip it up, you know. Like I'll we'll go on vacation to Australia, and then it'll be like, fuck, it has to redirect its plans. Oh, so you wait for it to get on the boat. Yeah, exactly. I, I just think you, you'd also have to live with the fact that you might have to just be constantly moving around. Okay, maybe I don't want this now. <laughs> I I think I I might I think I'd take the five the mil. money. I would take the five mil. Okay, so would you do anything differently? Than I just described. Well, the only thing I would consider is how much money would you spend tracking a snail? Probably be very expensive over your lifetime. You probably lose like one out of five of that million in your investment for yeah. sure. At least at the upfront cost of like hiring a dedicated team <laughs> to track snail trackers. You you could get them like shirts. Oh, you could <laughs> so hire snail trackers. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's say you hire somebody. Uh huh. Let's say you even have to pay them like a hundred grand. Probably more if they're a big software developer person. No, no, I'm just saying you hire a guy just to walk alongside a snail. Like a bodyguard, but for the snail. It's a bodyguard, yeah. Yeah. But instead of guarding you, they're guarding the snail. So you hire a guy, let's say 100 grand a year just to make the math easy. And they just follow the snail. He just follows the snail. Let's say we're going to live another, I don't know, 50 years. That's too long. (laughs) That's a long time. That's a lot of money. (laughs) That is a long time. All of a sudden your money's gone. 50 years times $100,000, it's a lot of money. Yeah, but you just got five million. So I know I understand that part of that is being invested in the body. Yeah, but guard, fifty but... times a hundred thousand is five million, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I got five million dollars uh-huh. to give a guy a job. It's good for the economy. <laughs> All right, do you okay. wanna you wanna move on to the next one? Maybe if it was like twenty million. <laughs> <laughs> we're sticking to five okay, okay, okay. okay. let's go let's go on let's okay. move on all right you, you can have a million dollars you can have five million dollars christine uh-huh but you have to eat an all meat diet for a, an entire year so by what do you mean by that you mean i can only eat meat or yes. i can only eat animal byproducts only eat meat so like no dairy you can't have yogurt no the whole po- <laughs> I'm not advocating for all meat diets because I think... Is this a diet? Well, I think people do this. Like Uh, like the liver king or not not actually, but like he said he did. I think Jordan Peterson was randomly promoting this for a while. What? But I I think he's an interesting example of a lunatic. No, (laughs) I think he's an interesting example of why some people benefit from it because if you have terrible food sensitivities to random things... By reducing your diet to just like, I'm going to eat only this one thing, cuts all of the things you respond badly but to. But you could do out the same diet. thing if you just ate apples. 
Yeah, but whatever. I think meat's one of the few things you can basically reduce your diet to and because still of like nutrients have or whatever. protein and nutrients yeah. and stuff. Whereas there's Only not eat many protein food protein powder. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the all protein powder <laughs> diet. But you know what I mean? Because like th- that guy almost got killed by apple cider vinegar one time. What? So like I get why he only wants to eat uh, meat. Okay. I... But like like I'm we're probably I think most a lot of people are sensitive to certain foods that they don't know about. A lot of people sure. don't feel good after eating bread. Mm-hmm. So but it, this is just like instead of cutting out uh, just bread, you're cutting out everything but meat. <laughs> I could not do it. I would not yeah. want the five million for that. No, I'm I think I would. I, five million is a lot for a year of money, but I don't <sighs> think I could do this either. I thought you were gonna say like cut out meat for a year. I'd be like done. I oh yeah, that. I would do that because <laughs> there's so much other. I would variety do that for uh, five thousand dollars. <laughs> really? Sure. Why don't you just do it for free? Well, no, I want at least something. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I couldn't eat only meat. I don't think so either. Like, I think that there's I don't even a chance like you get that much certain... meat. The only meat I like really like don't like I would order at a restaurant is like chicken. The pro- <laughs> a year is a long time to only eat. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could do an all hummus diet for a year. <sighs> That's a much better question and <laughs> equally disgusting. Well, it's just too easy. What to if answer you for only? Me? But you can't have pita. You can only have a spoon, and you dip your spoon into I'm the hummus. Fine with that. Really? Well, I would I die? Am I getting enough nutrition from just you can have supplements to survive? We'll give you supplements. Okay. Yeah. So to make sure you get whatever else the doctor says is like the minimum required for you to survive and function, your organs are all good. Yeah. But you have to eat hummus for breakfast, lunch, dinner I with think... a spoon. No pita. Yeah, I think I could do that for a year, for five thousand dollars. It would probably rob the joy of hummus from me, though, if that's all I ever that's ate. That's kind of the, this is the real mental you No, know, the thing is, I, I might, I think I eat hummus basically every day. I think it's an addiction. But I don't eat it for every meal I have every uh, day. Like to, uh, excuse <laughs> no, no, me, no, 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 not breakfast. I have not no, observed I you eating have... it for breakfast, but I have observed you taking a big dip for lunch and then finishing off the giant container for dinner no often so i'll often have hummus for lunch and it's sometimes i'll have hummus for dessert i <laughs> rest dessert. my case <laughs> it's been a homicide <laughs> all right is there a food you would eat uh, okay let's say it's not meat is there any food that i could pay you to only eat for an entire year oats would that I work? feel like I could do it. Yeah, as long as I have different flavors and whatever. If, yeah. I could have like fruit flavored oats, like maple flavored oats, chocolate flavored oats. It's too oats. easy though. That's too versatile. I guess meat's the same way though. You could cook meat all sorts uh, of things. Yeah, ways. but you get kind of like, ugh, like that's enough. You don't get meat. Ugh, sick of oats? No. Ever? Never? Never. Ever. Never. Okay. Next one? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, sir. All right. You can have a million dollars, but you have to move to a different continent. I was going to say country, but I'm going to say continent. Is is someone paying for your move? They're they're paying you five five million dollars. Yeah. Does it get deducted from your five million? Yeah, you're responsible for your moving expenses. (laughs) I'm just asking, (laughs) are they covered by this agreement? No, no, no. You have five million dollars. We've upped it to five. And you have to spend money on the move, but like where? Where do we have to move? Just anywhere but North America. No North America? Not North America. I'm cutting, because I knew if I just said country, you would just be like, well, move to Vermont. <laughs> it's like right here. <laughs> no. So no, the U.S. Why? is out of the question. You have to open, you have to fly somewhere you've never flown before. Uh, you've never been to Europe. Christine's never been to Europe. Is the Bahamas in North America? <laughs> You would want to move to the Bahamas? I don't know. I'm just asking. Any of those islands? Uh, We could move to an island somewhere in that (laughs) general area. Wait, is it like... They're not part of the States. I know that because they're like their own islands and own republics or whatever. But But like... Some of them are. Some of those islands in the Caribbean are part of the U.S. even, right? Yes, but most of them aren't. Yes. So the ones that aren't... So I'm just saying you wouldn't have any island to choose from. Like, I don't know about the Bahamas specifically. So you don't just mean, like, North America. You mean, like, that entire, like, anything in that range, like, in those time zones, if you count, like, those. It's not time zones. It's it's geography. 
Okay. <laughs> just, Whatever is guys, take me back to grade ten geography. <laughs> no, I, I don't know either which islands are or aren't part of remember. North America. We yeah. could find an island somewhere, but then like what we're committed to moving. We're moving to an island all are of a sudden. Are you allowed to visit Canada again? Yeah, sure. It's not like you were banned from the country. Do we get to keep our house here? Like everything will stay the same? Oh, you're looking for a loophole here where we could live here like six months less a day a year or something. <laughs> I'm just looking for a, just a little loopy. <laughs> that could be fun though. You live in Canada just under half the year and spend the rest of the year bouncing around. Maybe one year it's Greece. Or you could be a snowbird like my grandma. Yeah, but typically they would only move to like Florida for uh, yeah. winter. That's like the old rich Canadian thing to do. Mm -hmm. You just call my grandma rich. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a lot of older Canadians do this. They move to like You're not wrong, retirement but I, I homes in Florida. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it a rich? I guess you don't need a, a stupid amount of money to do that. I remember when she first bought like a long time ago, the first property in Florida and it was like under a hundred thousand. <laughs> Like, this was, like, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, like, it was, like, not expensive. And mm -hmm. then over time, it became, like, what? Anyways. So was there an answer to this question? Uh, I don't think I would do that because it sounds like... That is wild. I think this is the one where you'll probably be most at odds with the audience. Yeah. I think most people would be, like, $5 million and I can just move wherever I want. But what about your family? Do you get to take people with you? You can visit you? them. You can visit them? You just said you yeah, couldn't visit. Well, I'm just saying you can't use a loophole to move back to Canada. You can't live permanently in Canada anymore. Like, maybe I would do it, but I'd have to... Where would we move? I'd have to figure out my purpose during that, <laughs> that year. But you're, we work a job where we don't really need to be anywhere. You have purpose. Yeah, but uh, my cats... That we can take them. They don't want to be taken <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> They're homebodies. We got the private jet. We got $5 million. That will like eat up so much of the $5 million <laughs> so quickly. And then we won't have a jet to get back. <laughs> we got only one way ticket. Yeah. Think of all the places we could go. Bahamas. Just, <laughs> you're just trying to think how it's the Bar closest. Barbados. <laughs> Dominican Republic. We can, we can buy a private island. We could buy our own island. Yeah, but then we have to like maintain it. And that will cost some more money in perpetuity. So we would definitely run out. Well, it's true of any property. Yeah, but more true of like a whole ass <laughs> island where like you need resources to So I'm, I'm saying yes all okay. day to this. I'm nervous. You're saying no. Well, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe if it was like a hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay. It okay. doesn't, doesn't make a difference. <laughs> all right, three. Okay. You can have a million dollars, but you have to choose to have someone killed. You, and Who? Like, that's the thing. So there was two ways of looking at this. There's sort of this old idea, or I feel like I've seen this in TV shows or something, where it's like you yeah. press a button and somewhere in the world's going to die, but you don't get to know who. So that is one sort of moral dilemma. Me, I sort of prefer the example of you have to choose who is being killed because I think that puts more onus and like agency on you to know that you were responsible for a specific person's death. Yeah. And But, like, you're choosing someone you know? Uh, how else can you choose someone you don't know? Yeah, but it could just be, like, a famous or infamous person, you know? What if you choose someone who's already dead? Loop well, you can't have someone who's already dead killed. Well, what if you just <laughs> give them that idea? They give you the money, and then you're like, oh, I didn't know. They, are, they just died yesterday. Yeah, they don't <laughs> Like, think. they already died. <laughs> I appreciate your creativity. <laughs> You have to pick it's the someone. most moral thing you could do, Ben. <laughs> you have to pick someone who is alive to have killed. Okay. What about someone... I don't want to say it. <laughs> someone who's just a bad person? No. <laughs> there, There's people who probably deserve to die. No, I was thinking of people who were like already knowingly going to die. Oh. And then you can make their family a deal that you would give them the family money. Oh, you find someone who... Who's already, yeah. That's a very humane take. I The direction I would have gone in is like... Your worst enemy. <laughs> there's, pro there's definitely terrible figures in the world where uh, death wouldn't be an unjust outcome for would them. Would people know it was you, responsible? 
Mm, that's a good if question. If they ever did, oh my God, the, that could you be, would could suffer. Be trouble. You would suffer on Twitter. Yeah, for sure. On Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too <laughs> worried about you, Twitter. Like, you, <laughs> you, you profited from this person's death. Would I be canceled? <laughs> you were paid $5 million and you called for their death. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could just shut off my phone. I'm less worried about Twitter and more <laughs> about, worried about like actual retribution. Well, Twitter becomes IRL. So you you had the actual good idea, which is find someone who is end of life, mm-hmm. uh, maybe even once medically assisted, dying, yada, 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 right? But you talk to them and their family, and then you tell their family you're going to share Could you your have, earnings with them. That'd be a pretty, uh, that'd be a hard conversation to have. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Hey, you know this tragedy you're going through right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little morbid. I'd rather yeah, kill but, someone who deserves to die, I think. Wow, that's wild, man. What do you mean deserves to die? But do you, okay, maybe, let's just say some people deserve to die. Not, well, let's, not say, let's say, let's say but, some but, guy who just shot wait, up wait. a mall or something who survived okay, somehow. Yeah. For argument's sake, whatever. But why do you deserve the money? Well, I don't. So shouldn't, if someone deserves to die because they've caused harm to uh-huh. people, yeah. shouldn't those people get the money? Yes, but life's not fair. Okay, but like, <laughs> I would set up like a victim's fund oh. if I'm choosing a person who, quote, deserves to die uh-huh. and distribute it that way. Yeah, that's that's a nice thing. Because to then think. you can feel good about it. I mean, like, maybe you can get like a manager's fee or something, you know, because you orchestrated keep, it. And, like, I'll keep you are, 10%. Whatever. Like, I, I mean, like, it's only fair because you're the one organizing it and it probably takes a lot of work, yeah. you know, to figure this out. So, like, you could have something. It's not you know nothing. what scares me about this example? Is if, like, I knew this was just, like, a one-off deal, I think I would do it. And I think most people <laughs> who wouldn't are lying. But uh, if I knew that... Don't say who. No, no, no. I'm not... <laughs> if I knew that anyone in the... Like, if I knew this was going to keep happening, that, to me, is a much scarier proposition. Gonna, oh. Like, if everyone in the world got this opportunity. Everyone would be dead. Well, no, right? Because it's not like everyone would just pick... Yes. A lot of people would pick the same people. Famous people would be at a huge disadvantage. Oh, yeah. I'm fucked. (laughs) Someone. I I hate that yellow nailed bitch. (laughs) Well, that's the thing, right? Like, even a small amount of notoriety, I'm sure there's someone out there who wants me and you dead. You want to be the least known. That's the strategy. Yeah. Don't leave your house, talk to no one, and then no one can choose you. Like a Rolling Stone. This game. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's scarier to me. If this was like a one-off deal and I knew no one else was getting the opportunity, I would not trust inclined. the the purveyor of this deal. You know, I would yeah. not trust this person. If they were like, "Yeah, it's only you," I'd be like, "You're fucking lying." <laughs> There's no way, bro. <laughs> okay, so probably best to leave this one alone. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like you're basically selling your soul for an amount of money. Yeah, I would only do it if it's um, something that. If anyone else was asked how I handled it, if they agreed, that the vast majority of people would say, like, I agree with that strategy. All right. Let's jump to another one that's a little less depressing. Okay. (laughs) You can have a million dollars, but you have to spend it in the last store you were in. (laughs) Holotaco.com? You were were not in a physical store. I'm always in the store (laughs) on the back end online. That's technically in the store. You never leave the house. So, like, I don't even know when... When was the last time you were in a store? When we were shopping for a vacation. Oh, so you, you, you have $5 million, but you have to spend it at Old Navy. <laughs> and buy upside down pineapple shirts. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, ask, ask the audience. If their last place was yeah. the holotaco.com store. There is no store. And they store. had a million dollars, but they could only spend it on holotaco. <laughs> they would be able to buy the vacation collection coming out this Saturday. Oh, okay. And they you could buy so it. many of them, Ben. <laughs> they could buy as like more than we have, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and they could give it to their friends. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. But they can okay, stop doing math. I don't know. <laughs> but they could buy it for all their friends and family. It'd be so much fun. And then they could give everyone a vacation. That sounds like a great idea. It sounds like it's coming out this Saturday. I'm excited. This is your favorite collection yet. This is my favorite collection. Do, do they know? Will they know on Tuesday it's the vacation collection? I mean, <laughs> if not, they know now. Now they know. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off a little. Uh, yeah, there's a new collection coming out Saturday. Yay. It's your favorite. We did mm-hmm. it for Ben. Thank you. 
It's basically his collab. I have been pushing for this for a while. He has. It was it was supposed to be like last year, but then we were like, no, nah, there's no room. <laughs> so we put, it, we we put ha- it on hold. We had it as a backup last summer. Yes. But then we did something else. Yeah. And then <laughs> we just kept pushing the vacation. But, but just, finally. Just like real life. I know. But then we did it. So like you just be patient okay. and the snail will get you. I don't want to be unappreciative, mm-hmm. but I'm already thinking of like. The next vacation collection? Well, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> you have to buy this collection so that I can justify a sequel. <laughs> you know? We need a vacation collection yeah. part two. We, he was already brainstorming concepts for the second one. He was I like, was. if the first one was like this type of theme, then the second one could be like this and this. Oh, and I'm just like, then we mind. haven't even released it. I don't know like, if everyone's going to go die hard for the concept. Like, Let's just please hold. They will. <laughs> All right. So Anyways. could you spend a million dollars at Old Navy? <laughs> Probably not. I mean, okay, to be fair, they have a lot of options. <laughs> okay. And I, I haven't been in an old navy in what feels like eighteen years. Like I don't know. The last time I walked into an old navy was probably like in early university. You could probably buy out the is there a million dollars of product in an old navy probably. store? Probably. probably it, like close. a larger store, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. I mean they have everything. They have like sandals and bathing suits <laughs> and just fucking clothes, scrunchies. Though. Yeah, true. If it was a Walmart, something like that, that'd be way more you know, useful. I want to say the last store I was in was probably a grocery store. A farm boy? A farm boy. <laughs> you could buy the farm boy. I could boy. buy the store. Yeah. I could buy the farm boy and then he could be our butler. Okay, but like this is a stupid question because... <laughs> Thanks. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going back to the question. Like obviously yeah. everyone would say yes because... Oh yeah, there's no downside. What's the alternative? No, don't give me a million dollars and I have... No, no, the, no the, extra the, money. Like, one, what's the alternative? This one's just funny. There's no alternative. You're taking the money. Everyone's taking the money. But it's they just have to funny spend to it. think, like, oh, yeah. like, did you end up with a good or bad store, right? Like, what if the last place you were in was, uh, I don't know, a, a bagel? Oh no, shop. the last place I was in was Nordstrom's. <laughs> Remember, because yeah. Nordstrom's is closing in Canada. Yeah, so I didn't even realize this because I never. Okay, you can time. easily spend a million dollars. But Nordstrom's. yeah, and like they're having like liquidation sales. I was yeah, shopping for. Canada. I was yeah. finding something for my fancy aunt. <laughs> but like I realized when we went there that yeah they were closing and I'd heard it on the news but I just like forgot that yeah. in Canada all Nordstrom's are shutting down and I think they're all going to be gone by June or something. They've That's been doing soon. this clear out since March. Which is like wild because Nordstrom's is so successful in the States. It is? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's like a fancy frou-frou department store. But they carry a ton of brands and have like high-end designer stuff. But that market just didn't work in Canada. (laughs) People don't have money in Canada. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just like different different things. Less of a market for like luxury department store, I think. Yeah, it just didn't work. Interesting. But but Target Target also didn't. Yeah, Target also didn't work. Which I'm sad about, because I, I liked American Target, but <laughs> when Target came to Canada, it wasn't good. It was not good. They didn't have the same brands. I wanted like this tank top that I fucking love that was like super cheap from American <laughs> so Target, specific. but they like didn't have any of the same brands, and the quality was just not the same. So I was like, I'm not going back. And then they all shut down. <laughs> yeah, they called it Target here. That was like kind of a meme. That was French. No, I thought that was the official name. I don't know where that comes from, but I feel like we picked that up in Florida. But oh. I think people were memeing. They're like, it's not Target. It's Target. Target. And I'm like, okay, we on Pod Face. So See, would, you, would you rather have a million dollars to spend at Target or Nordstrom's? Target. Yeah. They have way more shit. <laughs> in America, Target. So maybe Canadian. a fun way of looking at this question is what store would you want to be the is store? Is there a time limit and how I can spend my money? Uh, can I go back and forth? No, let's say it's lifetime. Lifetime spend? Sure, why not? Wow. Okay, Target. <laughs> but like I need one in Canada. Okay, but is, would that be your number one store? Oh, if sorry. If, let's okay, say you could pick, could any, pick store. any store. If I could pick any store. I feel like, yeah, the smart decision would to be would be to pick a multi-purpose store that sells food, clothes, yeah. essentials, and things that like you could give as gifts. Like it's got to have some kind of entertainment value. You could buy TVs there and shit too, right? A Target? Can you buy iPhones and computers there? I, I don't. I think I've been in like Target once in my life. Is it just like a Walmart? Is I wonder if nice? it's smarter to choose something that has a tech angle, like a Best Buy. 
That's that's an interesting because point. you know you're gonna get to that a million dollars faster. Me, well, maybe not. I don't yeah, know. Just pick the Apple Store. <laughs> just the Apple Store. <laughs> Give me all the hard drives. Yeah, can I have every iPhone <laughs> ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking of like what stores are more expensive by nature of their products, but then I also realize like you don't need an iPhone that often. Tech but. is a great answer, I think, and music stuff I think is an music? interesting direction. Oh, like guitars. Yeah, I think if you're like a music store. You could easily spend. I don't mean like albums or CDs. I mean like instruments. Like only Taylor Swift albums. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that that's Actually. an interesting. Well, not Taylor Swift, but like a record store would also be an interesting thing, especially if it's a lifetime spend. But for me, it's like if I buy drum kits and guitars and all that stuff. To me, that seems like I would not do that. <laughs> like, wouldn't yeah, you rather isn't pick fun like if you're a, picking a Target or something like that? Well, I just like to buy tank tops. Yeah, I love. I, I can buy tank it. tops now. I can't okay. buy every drum kit I ever see. Okay, I, I guess, I guess. I'm just being mispractical. All right, next Simply one. Simply logical. <laughs> I thought you were not logical. Also, sometimes. Okay, $5 million, but you can never paint your nails again. What? I'm taking the money. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, we need you as a hand model. You shot the next collection. It looks so good. You can find someone else with without short you. nails. <laughs> Ben, please don't quit. No, no. No, we need the talent. It's probably not worth it for you. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, no. But, like, are we saying this for business practical reasons? Or are you just, like, more of an emotional, it makes me happy in a way that isn't worth money? I have money. painted my nails since high school. Like. Yeah, so you've painted them enough. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. You've painted enough. <laughs> I was looking at some pictures, I forget, for something. And, like. I realized, like, I've had nails painted since, like, grade 10 consistently all the time. Yeah. It was, like, rare that my nails were naked. So, no. So, no. That's I don't okay. want Own your it. money. <laughs> Keep your money. Okay. Another one. This is fun. We just okay. watched a movie that's kind of like this. Silo? No, that's not a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Get a $5 million, but you have to spend the next 365 days alone in a room with nothing absolutely not really absolutely not five million dollars anyone who thinks this is easy doesn't fucking know until they get in that room i would do this i would do it you're already so psychologically tortured <laughs> i know How can so you can't fuck me up anymore <laughs> no, it's that means you're the greatest risk <laughs> oh yeah. yeah you should not enter that room then mm-hmm what was the movie called we watched about this? It was on Netflix with uh, Sienna Miller. Who's the guy was in it? Was it Sienna Miller or was it Kate Bosworth? No. Kate Moss. No, not Kate Moss. <laughs> Wasn't it Kate I Moss? I remember. I think it was, was it Kate Bosworth? Sienna Miller? I don't know. Who was, who was the guy <laughs> in it? It was another Julia Roberts <laughs> thing. <laughs> was it Julia Roberts or Anne Hathaway? I don't know. Who, who was the guy? The guy was famous too. Not Jesse Eisenberg. No. I don't remember their names. Okay, great, <laughs> we great just, summary. So we watched a movie where it's for, in the movie it was on Netflix that they if this couple can stay in a blank room for room. thirty days, they get uh, five hundred thousand dollars or something each. Yeah, was it each? I think so. Yeah, but if one of them left, the prize greatly decreased. And anytime they want a treat, which is like basically an activity for something to do, that it like taxes money. their winnings so they get money off. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought the, 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 that, that was kind of a ridiculous movie. Well, yeah. <laughs> because like they were very close to the end before things sort of went off the spoiler alert, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like that to me, for, for me, the, what's hard about what I read was that it's a full year. Yes. For me, a month in solitary confinement, essentially, for a significant amount of money, sounds pretty doable. Am I Am I just miss... Am I underestimating how difficult yes. this would be, you think? Yeah. Really? Yes. I just... I want peace and quiet. Yeah. For like 20 minutes. No. And then you don't realize how much you actually depend on interaction, stimulation, all these things. So it, you might be like, this is fine for 20 minutes, but then you'll get fucked up. I don't, 
like I, I hear you and that's probably backed up and why people think like it's inhumane to put people in, in mm -hmm. solitary confinement. I mean, there's plenty of studies on that alone. Yeah. I yeah. will say that the conditions of that is probably going to look different than this hypothetical experiment. Like in that movie, it was like a really nice room and it was clean and they give you a bathroom that's like nice. Yeah. yeah. They give you food. So I'm whatever. picturing yeah. it as something more along those lines. Like in a that, luxury stay for that, a year. <laughs> In the movie, what I think made it difficult is that there was someone else. I think it was the strain it puts on you in a relationship or any sort of human interaction in that setting is what would make it very difficult. Mm -hmm. Whereas actually being alone, I think, would be easier. I don't know about that. I think it would be harder. But I understand why it's more complicated if there's two people. But I think it would be harder for someone to be alone than to have no one. Yeah, and like you can't bring in books or movies, no Netflix. No cell phone, no ticky tacks. That's it. But I'm, I'd want a world without TikTok. Okay, but like <laughs> you don't have to lock yourself in a room for a year. So you would do it. You actually think that you could I I would, come out alive. I would do the month for sure. The year is a lot, is tougher. What I, if it's prorated? So you could do a month and it's like <laughs> a twelfth of the full value. Oh, then I'm doing it for sure. Okay. I would only do the year one if I knew I could leave at any time, whether I got any money or not, first okay, of all. Okay, so it's like, it's, it's by well, the I, day. I assume I'm not trapped in It's there. a daily rate. No, no, but maybe I don't get any money if I leave after a month. Maybe I only get the money if I stay the full 12 months. Oh, that's I, I prefer your option of it being a uh, Yeah, me too. Because then anyone... Yeah, that would be a better model. Because then anyone would be willing to try. They can leave at any time. And they just only get how many days they stayed. Yeah, I'd yeah. be interested in polling people on this one because I feel like most people would say they would do it and most people probably don't, aren't probably thinking it would be as hard as it would mm -hmm. be. You really think you just couldn't do it? No, I feel like it would, it's a huge risk threat and documented consequence to your mental health. And there's so much research on that with people who are in institutions in prison. Yeah, but people so. in institutions, that's a pretty specific already at-risk population of yes, a lot of things. Yes, but by putting someone in that environment, you make it worse. You amplify any pre-existing sure, problems. Sure, I mean, it's not going to... And it's not like anyone in this fake scenario like has absolutely zero potential issues either, right? Like, we're all a bit vulnerable for different reasons. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so I don't... I feel like people aren't thinking of that when they're like, yeah, sign me up. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying this is something you should be excited about. But I think a lot of well-adjusted people could probably make it through. This sounds like a Mr. Beast video that I don't want to actually happen. <laughs> this does sound like a Mr. Beast. I think he did it. He did something like this. This is probably his most controversial video in my mind. Is he that he, yeah, he paid a guy to be in like a jail cell. Yeah. And like kept giving him money if he would stay longer. But they were also kind of like ridicule. Yeah, it was probably the most distasteful Mr. Beast video. These days, he gets shit on for, like, helping disabled people with their disabilities and people being like, that's dis... I, I don't know. We don't have to get into this conversation. But, like, he, he gets crap no matter what he does these days, even when it's pretty... I think he should do this <laughs> video <laughs> and just see how many people don't make it. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm joking. I don't think anyone should do this as a really? video for content. Yeah, no, no, no. Or this should exist at all. Uh, don't do it is my recommendation. Don't do it. I I don't think it'll be as easy as you think it will be. So I would abs I'd say nope. I'm good. I think I would do it. So I'll see you in a year. See you in a year. <laughs> Mr. Beast, call me. <laughs> do I have another one? Yeah, I have a few more. Do I have too many? You want to stop? I don't know. Give me another one. Uh, you can have a million dollars, but your least favorite person in the world also gets a million dollars. I came up with this one. <laughs> oh, yes, it's bad. Like, Wait, would you, you rather... Have a, you have one single least favorite person in the world? I know, I'd have to, I'd have to narrow down that list. Who do you report this to? Like, you're reporting it to the <laughs> investor? The and you best. have to tell them who your least favorite Why, person is? You're asking for like the pragmatic, practical details well, of this. because then maybe I can understand how I can fuck with the system. Like if I just tell them that my least favorite person is Ben, what? then maybe we can both get $5 oh, million. Oh, could you just lie? Yeah. No, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> the thought experiment I have with this one is like, is it more, could you look past 
what do you prioritize? You getting the benefit? Or would you just be more upset with the idea of someone you think is super undeserving and a bad person getting just as much of a benefit? Would you rather you both get nothing or you both get this amazing benefit? I suppose people would evaluate this on how they consider themselves relative to that person they despise now. So if people think that they are less fortunate than the person they despise, then they might go for it because a little extra money, the same amount for the person who's maybe richer than them now won't make much more difference, but it'll make a meaningful difference for them. But if the reverse is true and you're way richer than the person you hate the most, then you'll be like, nope. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. probably the right way of looking at it. I think the healthy mindset is like, just take the money. Who cares if that person yeah. gets the money I, i'm overcomplicated but i feel like it's a very human thing to to you have really to like assess put it. a lot of weight on not wanting someone to benefit from something that you don't think should get that or like if you feel it was because of you that this money is coming to them you're yeah. always gonna you're gonna hate them more yeah <laughs> all right want to do a couple more yeah all right you can have a million dollars five million dollars Actually, I'm going to up this one. You keep one. changing it. Is it a million or is it five million? It should be five million okay. every time. I'm going to up it to $10 million. $10 million. $10 million, Christine. Wow. But your movements are inverted for the rest of your life. What? What do you mean? Like when you think you want to look up, you actually <laughs> look down. This is you like... Wanna- are you making fun of me? It's like when you have a controller and you're flying a like plane moon, in a video moon. game. Like the movie. Bad! Moon. <laughs> Your controls are opposite. Okay, this always happens to me. <laughs> I cannot play when you're flying or swimming, and I think I'm going down because I'm, like, pressing yeah. down, but it's actually going up. Yeah. I never understand. Okay, but what if that was like that, just looking <laughs> looking around? Don't you think you would learn eventually? No, I wouldn't. Well, you never I learn. Never learn. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, if it was your body and I, like, meant to raise my right <laughs> arm, but it was my left... I feel like I could still achieve the tasks that I think I want to do. I'd just be painting with the opposite hand. It'd be my other hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would think of it more of like your your vision, how you look around at things. Vision? What do you mean? Yeah, well, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like I'd want my hand to go up and it goes down instead. I think it's more just uh, <laughs> any control of like your your sight line is inverted. So like if I want to look down, I actually look up. Yeah. So it's just well, you just looking. think you just think about it. Think about it. Yeah. What's real? <laughs> okay, this is a bad Man, one. <laughs> I'm already confused. <laughs> so like, do I take the money and try it? Can I return it if I don't like it? <laughs> Can you return it? No. Yeah. You can't return it. Why not? What if? Okay. What if the deal is like you pay me? Okay. I take it. And if I don't like it, I have to sell it to another person. I'm like, hey, you oh, want... It? It's like $9 million it's now. It's like passing off the curse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, you could do that. All right. If As long as I could but do you, that, you I You might not be it. able to sell it to anyone. What if you Someone can't Someone will it? buy it. <laughs> Some sucker will be like, yeah. <laughs> All right, two more. Okay. You can have a million dollars, but you can never get on a car or plane ever again. In a car? On it, physically on top you of the car. You could never travel by car or plane train? or motorcycle. Train? Uh, no trains. Bicycle? You can have a bicycle. Just nothing with an engine. You can have rollerblades. So is it nothing with an engine? But that includes like electric Fuck. cars. I'm trying to trick you. <laughs> no. You can only go by bike. You could do uh, kite surfing. Roller skating. Sailboat, a no scooter. motor. Can I have a scooter? Uh, as long as it doesn't have a motor. You'd basically be confined to a geographic area you can like bike within. Sounds like <laughs> sounds <laughs> doable sounds for like you. Life. You would do that for wait, five wait. million for how long? For like a year? For your entire life. Oh, it means you can never really travel anywhere. What if you accept <laughs> this when you're seventy? Because you're you're kind of <laughs> over like. Please hold, rain check. I'll take it when I'm 70, when, when I'm, I'm like done. not I've interested in traveling because like, you know, hips and whatever. It's just like... Hips? It's a risk. What's up with your hips? I'm just saying like if you have bad oh, when hips, you're old, like, you you have maybe bad you hips. don't want to be getting on a cruise ship and like whatever. <laughs> so like you're kind of done, but you just want to chill. Like you just said your hips, like we would all understand. <laughs> Anyone else have a hip crack? Like, <laughs> I like the way you think. But this implies, 
I'm, I'm not going to let you forget this. You just said there will be a time in your life when you're older where you're less interested in traveling. I mean, because physically which, which, it, it gets harder for people. Yeah, but that implies you're more interested in traveling now. That's not what that says at all. <laughs> like, a, If you're going to be less interested in traveling you're, you're when you're capable. older. It means you're more capable. It's a capability you said, assessment. You said when I'm older, I'll be less interested in traveling. Because of hips and maybe potential okay. physical ailments that make it more challenging. Not not that you can't travel. Don't mistake me either. I just like, it's a reality. But that means you're more interested in traveling no, now. No, it if means you I'm could more be capable. Le- <laughs> you'll be less interested in traveling later. But that's not what I said. Isn't it? No. What do you say? I, I intended to say, I mean, I don't know what I said. No, really. <laughs> but like physically, you may be less capable. You'll be capable. less capable of yeah. traveling. So technically... But what if you're more interested in traveling later, even if you're more less capable? Then you can go. That's but fine. But you can't. You can only bike. You can't bike with those hips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ben. What would you do? Uh, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't take the money. This to yeah. me is worse than being in a room for a year. What? Yeah. Why? Well, I can only bike around in circles. That is, uh, you know... Are birds free from the chains of the Skyway? I, I just feel like so many people have, like, if you think back, they've done so much stuff remotely that they've never done before. So, like, uh-huh. people realize, oh, my God, there's so much of, I'm not saying everyone, but, like, you know, there's there's certain things that people have been able to do successfully remote, remotely. The only Even way like it's a workable appointment. <laughs> is if you got, like, in really good shape and you could, like, bike across North America or something. That could be a fun challenge. It sounds terrible, but... Uh... I guess it's doable. Someone did it. It's been done. Yeah. yeah. That's possible. All right. One more. Okay. Christine wanted to add this one. I did? Yeah. What did I say? This is the one you came up with. Uh-oh. I don't remember what I said. You can <laughs> have a million dollars, but you can't have access to it until you're 65. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, do you just like, just like how people have pensions? <laughs> yeah. You're like, Yeah. <laughs> So like, why is this yeah, interesting? It's the <laughs> Except it can't be just a million. Oh, it has to be like five. Okay, five million dollars, but you can't spend until you're sixty-five. Yeah. So what's the? Of course, yes, I'll take that. <laughs> I know. So I what know. was the? What was interesting about this? I was just like, one? yeah, you should ask that, and then we realized like. That's a pension. <laughs> I'm like, yep, everyone yep. would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the question about um, being in a store and you can you have to spend the million there, oh, but there's no consequence of like, okay, well, the other option is just not getting a million dollars and spending it nowhere. Is, is, is a better question like, would you rather have $5 million now? Yes, that's a better question. Or $5 million when you're at retirement age? Well, most, like... I feel like investment people have answered this or financial advisors and they would always say, take that because it's the same amount and then you can invest it more strategically oh, okay. and make well, more. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let's assume yeah. it's $5 million you can have access to now that you're responsible for or $5 million now you invest into something that you get access to when you're 65. So it's more a question of like, okay, do you so have controlled. access to the money to use your discretion to invest it? Or would you rather someone managing a retirement fund uh, manage manage that money? I mean, it depends on the management fund. Like, if it's like Mr. Beast propositioning you, you would say, give it to me. I will figure it out. I don't want Mr. Beast holding my money. <laughs> I think a lot of people would be better off letting someone else do it for them. Mm-hmm. But that's also just too much money to have when you're at retirement age. Most people would weigh more benefit from the quality of life change yeah. of having it yeah. when they're yeah exactly of using some of it now yeah yeah I... but it's just it's one of those things where like a lot of people just don't know how to manage money at all it's kind of sad you know yeah you know how they have like trusts for kids like rich kids it's like you only get access to money when you're 21 and then the trust pays you like x amount yeah, per yeah, year yeah. i feel like that should be more used yeah, or just if you get a lot of money at a certain age and you don't know what to do with it, like find someone to help you manage that. This is a problem most people in life will never have, right? But uh, Yeah, actually, I don't like what I just said. Never mind. I didn't mean it that way. I'm thinking for people who are not old enough. I'm thinking of like young like teenagers who, yeah, and this is like the child actor problem too. Yeah, when yeah. you 
come into a lot of money at once, it's really easy to not have the right people necessarily around you to teach you how to spend or not spend, how to invest. And it can be like a really precarious situation. I don't situation. think it's just yeah. about kids. It's that thing where like a lot of people who win the lottery are really mm. good at blowing a lot of money quickly. Yeah. You need some, some advice, some guidance from someone you can trust. And that's so fucking hard. You know, if all of a sudden your friends are just like, hey, I fucking love you, man. Remember me? <laughs> Buy a few luxury cars and make a few stupid decisions. You could lose a million dollars like that. And then file for bankruptcy. I just read an article on BuzzFeed the other day that it was like, these 15 stars filed for bankruptcy. Why are you yeah, reading I that? I don't know. I was just like, <laughs> Wait, interesting. I thought BuzzFeed shut down. Or just, the just news, BuzzFeed, their like, news. news or something. So was that not BuzzFeed news? No, it was just a they just made a slideshow out of bankrupt celebrities. Yeah, what vultures! I know, but the problem—well, it's not <laughs> just them. It's that all this is publicized information in America. Anytime you file for Chapter Eleven or Thirteen or whatever oh, it is, it's like public record, so it's really yeah. easy for anyone to look it up and just you know. So who's put it on together. there? Mike Tyson. Yes. Yeah, yeah he famously was, he was happened to him, right? But yeah. he was buying like fucking tigers and gold statues. Yeah. And, like, that's a good example of someone who, I guess, never learned financial literacy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we end on a less depressing note here. I don't know. What do we say? <laughs> about retiring? About a pension? No. About instilling goodwill in everyone and hoping that everyone, you know, I don't know, like, it makes... Money? <laughs> It's not what I meant. I don't know what I'm saying. Ben's fever. Maybe I have it. Maybe I have Ben's fever. You stole my fever? I stole your fever to take it away from you. I I do feel feverish still. Yeah. You know what? I told you I had a fever and you're just like, you're, you're, you always feel warm. (laughs) It's true though. (laughs) Come on. I want a little sympathy here. I know, but you're always so hot. (laughs) And you're always freezing. Yeah. So I can never tell if you have a fever because you're always so warm. But it feels good when your cold hands, you put them on my head. Mm-hmm. I like that. You should do that more. Would you have my hand on your head for a year <laughs> <laughs> to get a million dollars? I mean, that's more of a challenge for you, isn't it? Yeah, I, I get most of it. I get we, 80%. We, we spend too much time together. It kind of feels like we're... My like, hand's already on your head. Metaphorically, <laughs> that is already happening, you know? What? yeah okay all right everyone thank you so much for partaking in our shenanigans are we doing a podcast next week or we'll take a week off no we just took a week off that's okay yeah we've been like really busy working on stuff coming back from vacation but then having to do stuff you know and we're we're kind of going away soon again so i think that's gonna you can have five million dollars but you can never record the podcast again who's subsidizing this (laughs) I don't know. Do you have, are you going to pay me $5 million? <laughs> I get to keep it, not you. But we don't do this for money. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> but I like it now. We do it for fun. But that just means some weeks I'm like, I'm not going to. I don't want to do I it. Don't, it doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel fun. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to find all the time to to plan for it, produce it. And, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all. fine. But I like it. Yeah. I like you. And spending time with me. I like when you put your hand on my head. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right, everyone. Ben's feeling unwell. (laughs) Um, Hope that you had a good Taco Tuesday. Uh, Stay tuned for this weekend. Here's to feeling good all the time. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. See you all later. (laughs) Bye.